Hi everyone. So today let's do some chest workout. Remember the skit? That's our resistance band skit. So you remember how I told you to hook it in. So the easy thing about this is you pull the lock out, open your bag and take your resistance band out. That's my back. It's easy. It doesn't get tangy. That's it. Okay, it's an easier way to do it. Nothing green or water. So, as we have hooked the whole thing up, so it is chest workout. So, uh, what I do with the resistance band is, I do, uh, I do a compound set for the incline, for the decline, and for the flat. So, what I do is, for incline, uh, sorry, for decline, what I do is. I hook this on top, do the decline press, immediately the decline spikes, and then a set of push-ups. So what's happening over there? I am working out the targeted muscle to its max. The resistance band might make you feel easy about it, but when you do these kind of compound exercises, then it has nothing easy about it. Right? You will feel it, your muscle will feel it, you will get a perfect workout. So what happens now? Three sets for the decline, three sets for the flat, and three sets for the incline. So all together we are doing a lot of exercise and we are trying to take a break of around uh, one or one and a half minutes in between each uh, set and a two minutes rest between each workout. Okay. So let's uh, just show you the one I'll just show you single sets of each or you can do the rest of the sets. Right. Let me just get this ready one.
Okay, now when it comes to push-ups, uh, there is a thing that, you know, people can do, even though that's the common and most basic exercise that everybody have done, should be doing, but still there's a lot of confusion now also, because people tend to uh, keep their elbow in such a position that it does not give the complete uh, you cannot reach the complete potential of that particular exercise. It's a beautiful one. So, I just demonstrate that also. Push ups. Okay. Your arms should be uh, just outside your shoulder width. Right. Take position. Hold it. Okay. So, there are people, there is a lot of uh, things that you know, people try to push their elbow sideways so that they get maximum stretch for your chest. And that is not the right thing. You gotta go at a 45 degree angle. Remember that, 45 degree angle, okay? So, when you go that, let's go to that. See that? Go down. Come up. Go down slowly. Come up at an hour, please. That helps even better. So, go down. Inhale while going down. Exhale will come down. Right. So balance, proper push up. So, just wanted to show that a little bit. That's a very common thing. If you know what you're doing and if you're happy with what you're doing, then this segment of our video is actually useless for you. But then, if you have the slightest confusion on how to do a proper push up, this could be helpful for you. Right. Just want to put that. Now when it comes to incline, I'll be hooking up this on the side of the door again. And then I keep my elbow in the height of my shoulder. I do my press and then I twist and do my flex. Right? Again, push up this followed by. Last, what I'll do is I'll do my incline chest press in which so I sit like that. Okay. This is known as diamond pose, Vajrasana. So I sit in this position and I push it up. So over here what I do is I take my elbow as wide and as down as possible. It's not close to the body, it is out away from the body, but as wide as possible and down. Then I push it up. Put it up in such a way that my upper chest gets maximum flexion and maximum extension. Right? So again, same thing. Press, push it, and then flies, and then again push ups. So this is what we do. I hope you guys have a clear idea on how to do your chest workout. Once you're done with your chest workout, make sure that you do your stretches immediately after your chest workout. Uh, have some water and then take a two or three minute rest and then do your chest stretch which is like this you just have to hold your arm up elbow elbow at your shoulder level keep your fingers open and then one two do that 15 counts take it max bring it down all right do it slowly don't just swing go slow Go slow, make your muscle feel it each time. Right. And after that, you can also do this kind of thing. You take a step forward, keep your elbow in your shoulder level again, and then push front. Right. Push front, keep the pressure on your uh, leg which is on front, give it on the heels of that leg, and then do a good stretch. Make sure that you breathe in that chest muscle when you're breathing so that the chest muscle gets a stretch. Hold it for around uh, 30 seconds. So we'll do this out. Other side, hold it. Uh, go again. Right. Don't get confused about which leg has to be forward, it doesn't matter. You can put either of the legs forward. On the same leg, it's all fine. Make sure that you hold it for around 30 to 30 seconds. Good to go. Okay, so that's about it. I'll go complete my workout. 
and I'll see you another time. So this was a test routine that you can follow. Okay, so remember what you're doing is the chest. Right? So when you do this, you're having a decline chest workout, flat chest workout, and an inclined chest workout. All of them are being done in compound sets of three. So that is three times three, nine for each angle. That makes it a total of 27 exercises that you're doing, or 27 sets of exercises that you're doing. But then, since you're doing it in compound set, you will have it as nine sets of exercises, nine compound sets of exercises. Try it out. Let me know. Um, any doubts come up? Ask me. I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge. All right. See you guys next time. Have a nice time. Um, would I close it with? Okay. Live healthy everyone. Cheers.